to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Faith fails not. It says, and when you are strengthened, use this same formula. When you are converted, strengthen your brethren. That means when you see them, look beyond what they are doing and discern what spirit is operating through them. Because sometimes the kindness of people can stop you from moving forward. They can love you too much to allow you pass through certain things. Their compassion can be used by the devil to stop you from rising. Your relatives can love you too much. They say, look, I, I can't stand seeing you go through this. So that you can discern that even though my well-meaning mother, my well-meaning father loves me so much, I love them so much, but this is not the voice of God. When you are strengthened, converted, strengthen your brethren. Are we together? Let me hurry up so we can pray. Now he rebukes the wind and the waves. And the Bible says there was perfect stillness. As soon as they get to gathering, they meet this madman waiting for them already. That was the spirit that was causing that storm. They meet this madman and Jesus looks at him and now they begin to negotiate. Do not send us out of this region. You have come to bring salvation. Keep us here. Jesus rebukes them. Watch what happened. As soon as Jesus rebuked them, they went and entered a swine and people lost their businesses, lost jobs, simply because Jesus arrived and certain spirits were dispelled. The man who was healed and delivered, the Bible says he single-handedly went to a decapolis and brought people to Jesus. If they did not take the risk to move. Do you know the same energy it takes to go back is the same energy it takes to continue. The same energy it takes to say I'm tired of this business. God is speaking to someone. You are midway and you can look back and go back and feel honorable for a while. Or you can make up your mind. Let them laugh while I move forward. Let them comment while I move forward. The miracle that storms bring in the life of believers. The Bible says, count it all joy, my brethren. When you go through diverse temptations, are we Bible students? Knowing this, that means let this knowledge give you stability. That the trying of your faith produces patience. And that let patience complete its work. I'm speaking to someone because in the midst of this conference, while everybody is laughing and jumping, you are crying. And say, oh Lord, let the, let the ministers that come to preach, let someone be able to discern what I'm going through and bring a word. In addition to this, it is true that you will laugh this year for sure, but discern what God is doing. His silence is not weakness. No, there is a lesson there. The last time he blessed you, you forgot him. You were so carried away by the accolades of men and he stood watching. And remember, the law is that in all your ways you acknowledge him. So his love and his mercy. Is it not in your Bible that he chastises those he loves? There is a formula. There is a non-negotiable condition for the making of great men. Among the training process is going through these storms. Not even Jesus was exempted from it. The way to the throne is the cross hallelujah it is why Paul said let no man trouble me I didn't jump classes in the spirit there is a scar that testifies that I passed through the training of the spirit how do you become a compassionate giver when you do not know what it means to be in lack let me tell you how God trains us 
Many times, the area of your victory and strength will be your area of challenge. Where death ends is also where resurrection starts. They all start in the grave. Resurrection starts in the grave right there. God wants you to become a kingdom financier. I assure you, you will taste of what it means to be in lack. Even if you have money in your account, he will give you an instruction one day. He will not give you an instruction to sow the money they gave you free. He will not touch you. He will wait for the one you got as rewards for your business. That your emotions are connected to. Then he will say, sow it. And he will bind and cast that spirit and he will speak again. And ask you to sow it. And sometimes he can ask you to sow it over something you don't believe in. He's testing you. His last treasurer disappointed him. He will not take chances. If you want him to trust you, he will have to train you and build you. <laughs> Hallelujah. So while you are giving like a madman, you are wondering, everybody is looking at you and saying, I, I, I used to think that you are okay, but now I'm suspecting that something is happening. And you say, Lord, are you seeing them? He keeps quiet. There is a training. It's important for people to witness when you go through storms because they will be the ones to validate you that you pass through correctly. Sometimes when God seems to embarrass you openly, rejoice because it's a track record. Tomorrow people will say, no way, you don't talk about this woman. She, she, it was not just a political position. I saw her walk through the pain. Lord, you seem so far. Joseph so much and quickly rescued him out of the well. He would have gone back home a victorious son, but never a prime minister. And the destiny of Egypt, there were spirits that were following that young boy. God, why does it look like I'm the black sheep in my family? No, you are not the black sheep. You are the one who has been marked. The realm of the spirit knows. They are watching you. Why is it that it was difficult for me to get to school? Why can't I have a normal life? I tell you this, great people do not have normal lives. It is true. So while you are in the well, rejoice. In a dry well. Then you get to Potiphar's house, rejoice. You find yourself in the prison and you are wondering, what am I doing here? Only criminals come here. Why should the son of covenant be here? But it was in the prison that the miracle began to happen. If he ran away from the prison, he will also run away from the throne. Was it not at the backside of the mountain? Moses literally ran out of Egypt. And while he was at the backside of the mountain tending the sheep of his father-in-law Jethro, suddenly he sees a bush that is burning and yet is not consumed. And he said, I will turn to see this great sight. And when God saw that he turned aside, he said, Moses, take off your shoes for where thou standest is holy ground. Be careful when complacency looks comfortable. Be careful when retreating looks better and cheaper and more convenient. Champions continue. It takes stamina in the spirit to continue. You are in school and you don't even know where your school fees will come from. And you are almost there. And the devil says you wasted your school fees. You would have started a business with it. And it looks nice. But while you cry and you are washing cars, your classmates look at you and laugh. And God is saying, I am training you how to serve because it is only servants who are on horses. It's a mystery. Most times, the area where you will be a blessing to men, that area, there are things that will pass. You will have to go through. It's called compassion. The ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity. When you go through poverty and pain and lack, when you become a kingdom financier, you are emotionally connected to your assignment. I've gone through several things in my life as a man of God. Sometimes when you see me minister to people, there are times that I stand before people and there are impossible situations. I have to draw from the archive of my own experience. When a family comes and says we need breakthrough, 
if you are too innocent, there is nothing to relate. The power of God comes through the well of compassion. There has to be something in your life that can touch you over that situation. That is why most often than not, when you come out of storms, you don't come alone. You come out with an anointing that delivers others too. A woman who has been trusting God, for instance, for the fruit of the womb. I tell you, the day she gives birth, it's not only children that come out. It's an anointing. Any woman she prays for from that time will also receive that miracle. Are we blessed? I came tonight by the Spirit, lending my voice with your pastor and his wife to interpret to you the happenings in your life. That while men say there is a casting down, he teaches you to be wise. Do not call. Was it not because an angel spoke to Mary that she got into trouble? A virgin is minding her business, kept herself, kept herself from every man, was minding her business. Suddenly, angel, angels begin to hover around her vicinity and demons are also watching. Because they know angels don't roam around for nothing. What is happening around Mary's house? An angel suddenly appears and says, Woman, you are highly favored. Now, everything that happened to Mary, God calls it favor. Go and read your Bible and tell me if you like that kind of favor. We must learn to interpret the writings on the wall. From the day the angel said you are highly favored, she was in trouble. Suddenly, a woman who claims she's a virgin, you are seeing her stomach protruding. Imagine the Sanhedrin council, the parents saying, look, just talk to us. We are still here. No matter what it is, we have. And what happened? Which rabbi? Joseph said, no way. I'm not, I mean, I mean, you know me. I've, I've labored here. I'm a carpenter. I mean, I'm a carpenter. I've been a diligent person. How do you explain yourself in the presence of such obvious evidence? Sometimes evidences are not the end of it. There is more that you see. You are standing with a protruded stomach and all the women are saying, shame on you. At least my own, I'm bad. Everybody knows I'm bad. You who claims you are good, look at this. And yet, God mandates that you keep quiet. Ah. Joseph looked at her and said, what have you done? Okay, I respect you and I'm a noble man. I will divorce you quietly. I will meet your father and say, give me back my dowry. I will quietly go. The angel said, no. Do you know what it means to come and meet people and say, I interacted with an angel and he said a ghost from heaven. Is, is this honor in Africa? You are already in trouble and you gather elders and there. Instead of you to humble yourself and seek help, you are now bringing such a stupid explanation. A ghost, an angel appeared to me. And the elders say, I told you, you, are, you people have irresponsible children. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm being graphic so that you will really know what Mary went through. It's easy to think, oh, she was just favored. That pain and that embarrassment in heaven's interpretation is called favor. That God can tell you, you are highly favored. And that means there is no more job. And you go to God and say, Lord, what is this? And he says, favor. Because it is in your frustration, you will come to church and sit close to your destiny helper. Usually, if you had your salary, you will not worship when they say worship. But now, there was no song, yet you knelt down. That's how serious your commitment was in church that day. Joseph looks at a wine presser, I'm rounding up, and a baker. And he's able to show them compassion even in the prison. And now he says, please, when you go to the king, help me tell him I am innocent. I don't have access to the king, but I'm a sincere person. Then the wine presser goes to the king and enjoys his time and for two years leaves Joseph there. And then one day, ah! When it is time for God to shake himself and wake up. The thing about that, that story is that he woke up. Read your Bible. He said, let God arise. There are times that God is not only there. He wants to arise. That means he's not only ready to reveal his presence. He's ready to reveal his might, his power, and his voice. For someone you have entered that season. Oh, 
you have entered that season where God is about to make a statement. Let me tell you this. When God speaks, every other voice is too late. He speaks in majesty. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down and every ocean rose to the Lord of Lords. When God was ready to lift Joseph, he did it in a way we're about to pray. I truly sense that this message is prophetic and is for someone in this place. Suddenly a king goes to sleep. Since no man could advocate for you, there is an advocate with the father, Jesus himself. There are times that your background does not have men who can speak for you. You trusted people who failed you. You said, please talk to the CEO. I am qualified. When they got there, they used your leverage to rise and forgot about you. Was it not Mordecai that saved the king? He saved the king and yet he was not rewarded. When God was ready to arise that night, Ahasuerus could not sleep. Notice that breakthrough has to do with waking up. Everybody who was responsible for bringing breakthrough had to wake up. God withdrew sleep including Jesus. Now Jesus wakes up and says, what is the problem? And they said, Master, carest thou not that we perish? King Ahasuerus could not sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. They opened. There were many people who did good things, but he said, what has been done to this man? I believe that in this 2021, the book of remembrance is about to be opened for someone. I'm speaking to you prophetically by the spirit of grace. You helped somebody establish his business. You helped someone rise. You gave an advice. You prayed with a family. You were praying and you were fasting with them. It looks like God has forgotten you. Lord, I am part of the growth and the lifting of so many people. And yet the Bible says withhold not good from him that it is due. When it is within your power. And it looks like I've been forgotten. But I speak to you, there is a God who can arise. And the book of remembrance was open. And that night, Pharaoh went to bed. And suddenly Pharaoh had a dream. And when Pharaoh woke up, God himself shut the heavens. The wise men, the astrologers, the necromancers, they tried to conjure spirits. But the Almighty was already awake. Can I tell you this? When God wants to announce you, he will shut every other door that can compete with you and put you in the presence of your destiny helpers. I know how this God lives. We are going to pray and I want someone who knows this song to be ready to sing for me. There is nothing you cannot do. That Yoruba song. You are mighty. Nathaniel Bassi's song. Because this is what is going to happen to someone in this place. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. You are in a season where God is helping you understand the storms in your life. They call you a black sheep. The Bible says there is this treasure that is in earthen vessels. Lord, I have been in Lagos for 10 years. All I have done is to serve you. All I have done is to be faithful. I have refused corruption, but it looks like there is no reward. Will my life be a negative testimony? I speak to you, the Almighty is about to rise. In this 2021, find strength. Find strength, David's Christian Center. Find strength, the keeper of Israel. He does not sleep, he does not slumber. Sing it for me, please, while we pray. You are mighty, you are mighty, you
to me. This is a very prophetic atmosphere. Please give me volume. Once upon a time in my life, please look at me. I remember many, many years ago, I was invited for a meeting. No man knew Joshua Selman then. I remember praying to fast. I fasted for three days preparing for that meeting. When I was about to go for that meeting, it was raining. And the people, I knew the people were hungry to receive. It was a small gathering. They didn't have any money to give me. They didn't have any honor, no protocol, no nothing. And I said, Lord, I love you more than this. I got up, I prayed, and that was how I carried my Bible in that rain. I was walking and trekking to that meeting. Tears were coming out of my eyes and I was saying, Lord, I do this because I love you. I'm not looking for fame. I'm not looking for nothing. I just want Jesus to be glorified. When you pass through storms, it gives you compassion hear what i'm telling you this is some of you is after five years you will look for this teaching and with tears in your eyes you will listen to it again this is how the great are made in this kingdom the way to the throne is the cross let me wrap up we're praying all of a sudden the king wakes up from his sleep he gathers the wise men and they cannot give him an answer and while that is happening, at the other side is a young man saying, Lord, this is the day that the Lord has made. You have told me to rejoice, but there is nothing to rejoice in. Ah! When the Bible says rejoice in the Lord always, sometimes you do not know that you have five minutes left to come out of the storm. Five minutes left. Can I tell you this? Sincerely, I can tell you, five minutes to your breakthrough, it will still not look like it. If Joseph knew that he was just a day left as a prisoner, suddenly the man says, I remember my wrong this day. There was a young man I met in prison. Why he got there, I do not know. But this man interpreted my dream. And the Bible says the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. said who is in the chamber there and Mordecai came and said I'm the one he said what should be done to a man who has done this Mordecai thought he was the one so in his wicked heart he gave the best option he said quickly go and do that for Mordecai I prophesy to someone in the name of Jesus may my God prepare a table for you in this season in the presence of your enemies I stand by the anointing of the spirit I decree and declare that in this season God who is the lifter of men may he lift you in the name of Jesus he said I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help I don't know where you get yours but my help comes from the Lord the maker it is not only heaven and earth he makes he can make men he can make businessmen. He can make women of power. Lift your voice and pray in one minute. Lord, lift me. This is the season of my lifting of laughter. I've gone through storms. You may be crying, but pray. You may be crying, but pray. minutes and we're done listen to me you are going to ask God for grace there are times God will not take the storm away Isaiah 43 please give it to us we're praying my spirit is fired up in this place Isaiah 43 from verse 1 and 2 but now say yet the Lord that created thee O Jacob he that formed thee O Israel fear not for I have redeemed you I have called thee by name he says you are mine verse 2 
when you pass through waters not if when i will be with you not i will take the water away from you the most important thing is my presence there and through the rivers they shall not overflow you and when you walk through fire it shall not burn you neither shall the flames kindle upon you father grace to pass through lift your voice and pray there are families that are praying right now there are businesses that are praying right now i assure you that challenge will not see the end of you david's christian center pray in the name of jesus and christ of the living god look up the next prayer point because for some of you that season has ended but the dynamics of your announcing is that God will have to create a scenario where he will introduce you in the presence of your helpers let me tell you this when God wants to bless you he will shut any other door that is an alternative to you and bring you before the great it's true this is how God lived suddenly Whoever would have been a worthy replacement for that period, God shuts that door and puts you in a position where only your gift can be seen and can be recognized. Are you ready to pray? Father, announce me in this season. It's not a carnal prayer. Announce me in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your voice and pray. Announce my business, announce my family. Let it be noised abroad what God is doing in this assembly, in your life. Don't be tired of prayer. You came tonight for an encounter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now please look up. My God. Some of you are really crying in this place. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Psalm 126. Psalm 126. When the Lord turned again, the captivity of Joshua Selman, he said he did it in a way and a manner that we were like them that dream. Verse 2. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. And our tongue with singing then they said among the hidden the Lord had done great things for them verse 3 it says the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad for says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south verse 5 they that sow keep that scripture there so while you are crying you are sowing you are sowing service you are so in honor. You are reading with the candle in the night and nobody knows you. No job and no nothing. You are writing the ideas. When God says go on a seven day dry fast. No one knows you. No one is placing a demand on the grace of God upon your life. When God is saying you will dress kings. You will be a fashion designer for kings. At that you don't. You always don't look like it. Until his grace exempts you. Sowing in tears. For someone, this is a prophetic word for you. Don't stop. In that one small room, keep sewing. You may cry, but keep sewing. Buy all the notebooks. Get pastor's tapes. Get pastor's books. Pray in tongues. While others are praying, keep crying, but pray. You may not have the money for all the meals you want, but pray. You may not have the options now, but pray. 
God told you that you will have a business that is global. Keep praying and preparing. As you spend money building your capacity, you may cry but pray. The Bible says, they that sow in tears, they shall reap in joy. Verse 6, the last verse. He that goeth forth. Stop. This verse is for those moving forward. This verse is for those who intend to move forward. It says, he that goeth forth. And in the process, he weeps. Because the seeds that he is carrying is precious. There is an assurance for you. That you will return to the same place you cried. Understand what God is saying. That a day will come. You who has been called a rejected stone. You will return back to that same house. That same neighborhood. This time around Moses does not return as a fearful person. He returns as one who has met Elohim. And he says Pharaoh. This is not the same Moses who left. When Moses. When Mary gave back to Jesus. And the angels came. The magi came. You can imagine the joy have been vindicated. Finally, when Jesus grew and they began to see the exploits, I could imagine the joy on Mary's face. I could imagine those who laughed at Mary, saying, Mary, we are sorry. We were foolish and ignorant people. I assure you in your lifetime, for some of you, the sun, the moon, and the 11 stars that laughed at you, they will return back and bow to you and say, when you were making that decision, we did not discern. Father, I'm standing here at David's Christian Center, a house you have so lifted, a house you have so honored. I have brought your word to your people. Father, scattered across this auditorium are people crying, people who have gone through and are going through storms on account of their desire to advance. There are people right now who may not even be able to understand what is happening in their lives. But Lord, we just sang that there is nothing you cannot do. I stretch my hands over your people, Lord God of heaven, and I pray that for everyone who has endured and continued, I stand by the God of heaven and I announce to you that in this season, go forward. In this season, go forward. According to Exodus chapter 14 from verse 13 to 15, I stand by the God of heaven and I declare to you that it is time for you to go forward. In your career, go forward. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the Spirit that every tongue that rises up against you in this season, let it be judged for your sake. I prophesy Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 over your life. And I will give David's Christian center favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass in this 2021 that as ye go, provided you will go, if you will not go, there is no favor. But if you will go, I assure you, you will not go empty. This scripture is for those who have the courage to go. For as long as you have the courage to advance, to take that risk in righteousness, I declare you will not go empty. In the name of Jesus Christ. And every voice that has lied to you, that it will be as before. Master, we have tried all night. We tried it in 2019. We tried it in 2020. I bring you a prophetic word. Go back again. This time around with an anointing. This time around with an unction. Go back again. This time around with favor. This time around with faith. Go back again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for your loved ones? In Africa, you are not free if you are the only one who is blessed. You have to pray that everybody around you is also blessed. It is always as for me and my house. I declare for your loved ones who are not here, but because you are standing here at Greatest Christian Center, 
I join my faith with that of Pastor Kingsley and his wife. And in the name of Jesus, as a threefold cord, we speak to you and to the families represented in this ministry and the families of those following online or whatever platform. In the name of Jesus, be blessed. Be blessed. Go forward. Advance. Gain strength. Achieve much in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. I pray finally for your prayer life. You see, no matter what else you gain, if your spiritual life is down, you are really down. Let me pray for your prayer life and your word study life. For some of you last year, you had no time for God. You were busy here and there. But I declare, in the name of Jesus, fresh fire upon your prayer altar. Fresh fire upon your prayer altar. Passion for the word I release upon you. Passion for fellowship. Fellowship with the brethren. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I tell you this? We continue to respect the government and the authorities around us. But as much as God grants room and opportunity for the gathering of the saints and it does not violate any government policy, sustain the courage to be in the gathering of believers. The church is a strategy, the only spiritual strategy that sustains the ability to ward off darkness on earth. The church is beyond the gathering of people. It's a, it's a platform and a strategy that was built with God's own intelligence. I will build my church. I decree and declare that no one in this church will be a victim of coronavirus. And if there are any of your family members who are currently suffering it now, we declare the life and power of Jesus over their bodies now. This church remains blessed. This church remains lifted. In the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.